In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to measure a piston and piston rings. To begin with, you measure the piston using a micrometer. And you do that across the skirt at the lowest, lowest point of the skirt, typically, unless the specification uh, tells you otherwise. You measure the width of the piston right there at the bottom of the skirt. and uh, take that reading. And the reason you measure the bottom of the skirt is because the piston is actually tapered. The, the bottom of the skirt is wider than, the, than it is up here at the top of the piston. And then uh, next we're going to show how to measure piston ring side clearance and you do that using a feeler gauge. With the piston rings in the piston, in this case we just have the, the second ring still in the piston here, you slide the feeler gauge in between the ring and the ring land and you, you try that until you find a, a feeler gauge that fits and, and slides but is a little bit tight. You can feel the friction as you slide it through there. And that tells you how much uh, piston ring side clearance you have. It's a really simple measurement. And finally, on the, on the piston rings, you'll also want to do uh, piston ring end gap. And to do that, you stick the piston ring. You, you have to pull the piston rings off of the piston obviously and then stick the piston ring into the cylinder. We've got this uh, the tube here simulating the cylinder and then use the top of the piston to square that ring up inside the inside the cylinder. It should go down into the cylinder of a half an inch or so and you find that uh, gap at the very end of the piston ring and then use a feeler gauge to measure that gap until you find one that slides in there nicely. Like that one right there. And then that, uh, that feeler gauge gives you the measurement of the piston ring end gap. And all of these measurements need to be within specification to make sure that the pistons will fit properly in the cylinder and that the rings will seal properly.